In this episode, I visit an old mine in the Arctic. Hey guys, I'm with Svalbard, Norway, and I'm here for work. Done working, it's 9 p.m. Good thing is the sun never sets, so I got plenty of time to check out this old abandoned looking mine. Looks pretty cool, so uh, let's take a look. It's a pretty steep climb, but I'm sure we're gonna make it. Let's see if we can get there. So I'm on my way to mine number two. It's also called the Santa Mine because during Christmas season, children can send their wish list here. So I finally made my way up in mine number two. Well, what I didn't tell you is that there are a lot of polar bears here in Svalbard. What would a polar bear do in the mountains, we say, but two girls got killed over there on the top of the mountain. Pretty sad story, but that means that we have to be really careful. So uh, let's continue with cautious. I see some big pawn prints. Let's hope they're not from a polar bear. All entrances are checked and closed. Looks pretty epic. Looks also like a death trap. A lot of eyes. A lot of unstable floors. Seems there's a lot of stuff left here. Wow. These used to be tracks, a train for coal transportation. This mine opened in 1913. The mine was set on fire by a German battleship during World War II and it burned until 1962. In the winter of 1968, the coal production was expelled in the shaft and got abandoned. There's a really thick layer of ice here. <laughs> a lot of train carts. They go in everywhere. Jesus, I think these miners had to work here in really harsh conditions. There's quite a lot of stuff here. Especially when you imagine it's abandoned since 1968. So this stuff is lying here for a long time. Probably has been moved a lot of times, but still nice to see some artifacts left. Looks like a nice room to chill or hang out with friends. And the view is also great. Check this out. There's not much that can beat this view. Wow. And it's foggy and it's a snowstorm, so it should be even better when the sky is clear. Alright, there's another door over there. Let's check it. Very slippery again. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> Can better sit on my bum. Slide down. <laughs> oh shit. shit, shit, shit. <laughs> uh. I also feel a little bit more comfortable walking around here. Oh pictures nice it's still there after all these years it's amazing so this mine is abandoned for 50 years you can only see a little bit of peeling paint over here other parts are collapsed but this looks still pretty good I guess this is some kind of hosting machine normally they connect it to an elevator to bring men and equipment in and out of the shaft It's 
don't have my stabilizer with me. Oh, apologies for that. Damn, I almost broke my ankle. So we're going deeper into the mine. But we're still in the buildings, so we're not in the mine itself. So this is another entry of the actual coal mine itself. It goes under the ground, under the rocks, and it's completely sealed off by ice. <laughs> so here you can see some leftovers of the train carts. See the wheels over there. It would be nice to see one which is still intact. A lot of spare parts over there, like cables and stuff. Wow. I didn't expect this place to be so good. Really like it. This thing isn't even rusted at all. Pretty big, didn't expect it that big. A lot of rooms. Oh shit. Alright, this part is melded. <laughs> Luckily you got waterproof shoes. Oh. Alright, so we play in there. Alright, right way on the other side. It's crazy the amount of iron and stuff that is left chains. This is another entry of the mine. You can also see some footsteps. But it doesn't mean there have been people recently because it's like permafrost. It's constantly frozen here. Some more stuff. I don't know what it means. Should look it up at home. Stand. Here's the warehouse. Check this. Metal parts, not really rusted. Nice. There's still some really old mining equipment, like a drill. Well, this path probably leads to another mine entrance. This entrance is also blocked, but maybe you can slide through. I wanted to go into the shaft, but my battery is empty. I don't know if it's a really good idea. I'm not prepared, I don't have any oxygen stuff. My flashlight is empty, it's the only one. My phone is empty as well. I thought I charged it, but apparently I didn't. So I explored everything on this level. Seems to be there are more levels. So let's go down. It's pretty icy. Check this. <laughs> so I went down the stairs. And then we see this. Oh my god. This is where the coal came out. It's so cool. It's 
pretty intact. You can see the eyes on the wall everywhere. Massive. I think this is my favorite spot. I have to watch out with the floor. can pull and then it opens. Oh, it still works. You can see, the crawl comes out and it opens. <laughs> so from this point, the coal is transported to the city. All right, they close this. So I guess at one point this was a museum, but it became too unstable and then they closed it. So I think that's what happened. <laughs> Gotta love the snow. It's a shitty climb, but I made it up. So we uh, almost explored the whole complex. The only thing I didn't do is going to the shaft. I decided not to go because when my battery dies, I'm gonna be stuck in there. It's pitch black, so yeah, I'm not gonna die up here, man. It's not worth it. So uh, thanks for watching and wish me luck because I still have a really long way to go. I think my cabin is right over there. So it's 250 meters down. Hopefully it goes easier than going up. I came out. And I just have to share it with you. It's midnight, 12 o'clock. Look at the light. <laughs> it's perfect weather for exploring. You can just explore 24 hours. And everyone is asleep. That's a good thing. All the rubbish. Oh! oh my god! <laughs> Sliding down the hill! Woohoo! Oh! Alright, guys, made it home. One more look at the abandoned building. Now, my hotel room. Clothes are totally wet. Time to sleep. <laughs> Shitty light.